Good morning, this is Coach Mix here with another training video. This time, I want to talk to you about the new distributor orientation. Dito natin ituturo lahat ng basics pagdating sa business mo. I will talk to you about the basic mindsets that is required to build a USANA business. So let's get started. First of all, I want to congratulate you in starting your USANA business. Hindi biro ang mag-shell out ng 40,000, ng 24,000. The mere fact that you started it and you shelled out money, I'm sure you're decided and you're really excited to build this business. Although, siguro medyo mayroong konting ka ba? Because some people really are very shy and they don't know how to start. Yung iba siguro nag-iisip, ako po, paano ko gagawin to? I'm very nervous. That's very natural for people who are starting this business. But let me congratulate you kasi hindi biru yung decision na yan. You decided to change your life. Now, the journey finally begins. Now, what's our main goal? Our main goal, basically, is to live a very healthy life and to remove all concerns when it comes to money. Alam nyo ko si seryosohin nyo yung Yisana, there will come a time that lahat ng bagay problemahin mo na huwag lang pera. Okay, most people live their entire lifetime worrying about money. Because of Yusana and because you decided to take the first step, I would guarantee you, trust me on this, kung siseryosohin mo to, and if you give it your all, there will come a time that, it, that you have no problems with money and you have no problems with your health as long as siseryosohin mo ang Yusana business mo. And that is why we're very excited to share the good news, to train you even more, so that we're going towards 100% to that goal. Let's talk about Pareto Principle, the 80-20 rule. 80% 80 of your attitude and 20% of the right skill gives you 100% success in USANA. Ngayon, you would notice that 80% belongs to the attitude area and only 20% belongs to skill area. Why is that? People ask me, Coach Mix, but mas mating bang yung attitude? Well, if you ask me, there are people who started USANA with no background in sales, no background in network marketing, no idea in health supplements or the medical field, but they turn out to be very successful and very rich because of their USANA business. So what do they have when they were starting? They had proper attitude and proper mindset. Now, I want to talk to you about the common mindset of a top earner, a common mindset of a person who becomes very successful in this business. First attitude, GLLA, good listening and learning attitude. If you're able to listen and you're able to learn and your mind is open to new ideas and new learnings, you will be set up for success in this business. Diyan lang naman nag-uumpisa yan eh. Adapting the GLLA mindset. If you're willing to learn and we're, you're willing to listen, this is going to be very easy. But take note, most of the things that you're going to try in USANA are new to you. So, medyo nakakakaba na onte. So, siguro you get a little bit uncomfortable. But with GLLA, the willingness to learn, you'll eventually become better. Alam nyo, sa maraming distributors, ang wala nito. And I guess that's the reason why they don't grow and they don't become successful in their USANA business. Kasi hindi willing matuto. Some people already have that confidence, okay? Because they have basic knowledge in selling. But then it becomes a problem when they start thinking na ay alam ko naman na paano magbenta. There's really no point in learning further. And definitely because they don't know more, they don't earn more. Sa so sana kasi, the number one thing that you need to invest on is learning. You need to grow yourself in order to grow your business. 
Ano ba ang kabaliktaran ng GLLA? Yung tinatawag natin na acne or alam ko na yan. When you start saying to yourself na alam ko na yan, then all improvement stops. E, alam mo na eh. So what's there to be studying about? What do, why do I need to put in effort if I already know what I'm doing? Ayun lang problem. That's actually one of the biggest pitfalls that you're going to have in this business. It's when you start saying to yourself that you already know everything. Because then learning stops. Sa amin, even up to now, currently, what, while I'm making this video, I'm a Ruby director. We've been doing USANA for three years almost now. But still, we don't miss the regular trainings that we conduct at the Asian Institute of Management. Continuous pa rin ang learning namin. We still haven't said to ourselves na, okay, alam ko na lahat. And surprisingly, alam niyo ba, every time I attend trainings, I always learn something new. So, ayun ang maganda sa iyo sana. Eh. Ayun ang maganda sa team natin. We provide new trainings continuously. But then, take note, be very careful upon uh, starting to say to yourself that, uy, alam ko na lahat. Because then it starts getting worse. If you stop learning, you stop growing. And your income actually starts dropping. It's not going to stay stable. It's actually going to pull you down if you stop learning. So, isa yan sa biggest pitfalls, if you ask me, when it comes to you to use on a business. Acne. Ito lang ang tatandaan nyo sa USANA business nyo. The more you learn, the more you're going to earn. So, kaya nga number one talaga ang GLLA. The more GLLA you have, the more chances of winning in USANA. The more acne you are, the less chance of winning in USANA. Let's talk about belief. It's very important that you build your belief in the industry, in the company, in the products, and in yourself. Parang building lang yan. If you construct a 100-meter building, and you have a 5-meter foundation, the building is going to collapse the slightest wind with the slightest uh, storm. With a little earthquake, guguhu siya. So it's very important for you to set that unshakable and very strong belief to withstand all the troubles and all the challenges that you would encounter in building a business. Remember, business in general is not easy. Hindi po madali ang negosyo. Kasi kung ang negosyo ay madali, dapat lahat po ng tao ngayon milyonaryo na. Okay? So business is not easy. The same with you, Sana. You're going to encounter challenges and obstacles and roadblocks that you need to surpass in order to become better. Now, with a weak foundation, it's not going to be possible. So let's talk about the different beliefs that you need to build upon yourself to start and grow and cultivate a very lucrative USANA business. Belief in network marketing. Ano ba network marketing? Network marketing is a system of moving products from the manufacturer to the consumer by an organization of users, retailers, and business builders. Take note, ang number one reason for network marketing is moving products. Marami kasing magtatanong sa'yo, scam ba yan? Pyramiding ba yan? Network marketing is different from those. People are just misinformed. Okay, akala nila lahat ng network marketing is illegal. But network marketing is actually one of the best ways to distribute a product. It's legal. Tinuturo sa school yan. Alright? So they make courses out of this. This is all registered. Okay? Ayun lang kasi marami kayong tao na may encounter na misinformed. So that's why it's very important for you to build that solid belief. Now let me talk to you about what's the difference between a positive, legal, and ethical company kumpara, anong difference kumpara sa illegal? Okay? You have to know it for yourself. Kasi pag tinanong ka ng guest mo, tinanong ka ng tao, and you don't know yourself, then you start doubting yourself. Then everything is lost. Kaya tatanungin ka tapos ikaw mismo magdududa. So let's talk about it. Ano ba yung difference ng legal at illegal? The 8-point test. 
This was given by the Department of Trade and Industry in the Philippines. Ito yung gagamitin mong criteria to determine if a company is legal or not. Let's take a look on each item so that we would be able to distinguish if USANA is legal or illegal. Number one, is there a product? Meron bang produkto? Maraming company ang manghihingi sa'yo ng pera and they don't have products. Sasabihin lang sa'yo, bigyan mo ko ng pera, palalaguin natin to, you only have to recruit some people and eventually you'll become rich. The number one criterion for a network marketing, marketing company is having products. Kung wala kang produkto, paano ka makakapag-market? Sa ibang kumpanya, wala talagang produkto. And it's actually really sad that many people believe their sales pitch and they can sell hundreds of thousands without having a physical product that you can hold or you can see. USANA has a product and generally people join because of USANA products. Ang ganda kasi. Number two, are sales or commissions coming from recruit registration fees or product sales? Sa USANA, alam nyo naman na wala tayong direct referrals. Wala tayong income tuwing nakaka-recruit tayo. Although, we have points because of the product sale volume wherein our commissions are coming from. Sa ibang company, if they have a 10,000 peso starting, starting fee, 2,500 is actually the registration fee, wherein 1,500 of that 2,500 goes to the upline. Kita yun na nag-recruit. The rest, of course, goes to the company. So, sa sana ba meron tayong ganun? Wala tayong ganun. All income comes from product sales volume. And even when you enter and join sana, wala ka rin babayarang recruit registration fee. What is the objective? Is it selling or recruiting? Sa isang legal na network marketing company, you can actually do both. Parehas. Pwede kang magbenta, pwede kang magrecruit. Sa isang illegal na scheme or pyramiding scheme, the only thing that you can do is recruit. Alam nyo sa iyo sana, even if you don't want to recruit anybody, you just want to sell, you can still make a lot of money. Sa ibang company, walang product eh. So how can you sell if you don't even have products? Number four, is there any relation between the number of recruits and the commission? Sa isang legal na network marketing company, yes, there is a relation. Bakit? Kasi mas marami kang tao, mas marami kang benta. But you never actually earn from recruits alone. Sa USANA, you don't have a definite number of recruits to earn. Actually, you can even choose not to recruit anybody. Marami kumikita sa USANA na walang team pero malaki ang income because of sales. Sa ibang company, kailangan mong umexit. Ano ibig sabihin ng exit? There is a definite number that you need to meet in order to get the commission. Hindi pwedeng idaan sa benta Napaka straightforward ng isang pyramiding scheme. You recruit 10 people, makaka-exit ka, meron kang 150,000. So you sana even if you don't recruit and you just focus on selling, it is still perfectly doable. If you stop recruiting, will you still earn? This is really amazing. This is a very good question. Because in USANA, I see a lot of people who have stopped recruiting already, pero laki pa rin ang income nila. That's the beauty of having amazing products. Sa isang company na illegal, if you stop recru recruiting, there is no way to earn anymore. Kasi ayun lang ang main base of income. Pero sa ibang pyramiding scheme, they have products, yes, but most of them are overpriced and they have very... Very low quality. It actually forces you to recruit. Kasi nga, may product, oo, but nobody wants to buy it because the only reason the products are, ex are existing is that they use it as an excuse just so that they will not be labeled as a pyramiding scam. Ang hirap ibenta ng isang produkto na ginawa para lang pang tapal, para lang excuse just to cover it up 
just so that it will not be called a pyramiding scheme. Sa iyo sana, ang dami dito na walang team, walang benta at nag-stop na mag-recruit pero tuloy-tuloy ang income because they have established a very good team and a very good line of customers. Does the company have a product return policy? Kung ikaw ay isang pyramiding scheme, you will not bother putting up a guarantee, a return policy for products that you know are inferior. Remember, meron kang produkto dahil nga pang tapa lang yan. Para lang hindi ka mahalatang pyramiding. Para lang masabi na meron kang produkto. Sa iyo sana, we have a potency guarantee coming straight from the owner and the founder. We have been the only supplement in the Philippines without that no approved therapeutic claim label. And we have, yes, we have a product return policy. Just in case our clients are not satisfied, they can always return the products. Does the product have fair market value? Patas ba ang value ng produkto mo kumpara sa competition niya? Ang ibang products kasi na galing sa isang pyramiding scam, for example, they're buying a pencil, a pencil worth 5 pesos. The owner, naturally, wanting to have money and earn from his pyramiding scam, would, would buy a pencil as an excuse for a product, and they will price it at 50 pesos. Just so, na akala mo yung binayad mo na 50,000 is sulit. Sure ka ba na yung 50,000 na binayad mo is worth ng product na nakukuha mo? Sa ibang network marketing na bordering pyramiding, I guess, hindi sulit ang binayad mo. Another area to, to observe in dito sa fair market value is that okay ba ang markup niya? Baka mamaya kasi ang puhunan lang niya ni 50 pesos but the company is making you sell it for 1,500. That's another question that you need to ask yourself. Sa iyo sana, 16 pesos lang ang isang produkto, ang isang tableta. So it's really, really easy on the pocket and it's totally worth it because it's 5-star gold at tinanggalan na ng no approved therapeutic claim. Belief in the company. You have to establish your belief sa iyo sana na hindi to basta-basta bigla na lang mawawala. Because this is one of the major concerns of people who are starting out a business. Baka mamaya pagpasok ko ng Yusana, biglang mawala. Remember that Yusana is part of the NYSE or the New York Stock Exchange. For you to be able to enter NYSE, you have to be very rich. Yusana is situated in the Enterprise Center. So isipin mo, kung hindi mayaman at stable ang Yusana, it shouldn't have been able to enter the enterprise. 25 years na ang Yusana. Sobrang stable na nito. Most companies, especially those that are starting, usually end up gone within 10 years. Lumagpas na tayo doon sa time na very challenging pang business. Now it's smooth sailing. Pasok pa tayo sa Forbes magazine as one of the best sectors for the long run and remember thousands of people are buying the products. How will the company close if we have very low overhead and plenty of people are buying the USANA products that we have? We have the trust of thousands of athletes so malabong biglang magsara to. Okay? Kahit yan sila Warren Buffett using their formula for stability of the company, number two tayo. Remember, mas mayaman pa tayo sa maraming companies na sikat sa Pilipinas because Yusana is all over the world. And take note, ni isang market na binuksan ng Yusana, wala pang nagsasara. And Yusana in the Philippines were actually the fourth largest and strongest market of Yusana. So, malabong magsara ang Yusana sa Pilipinas. Coach Mix, why do I need to establish the belief in the company? 
kasi pwedeng marami magtanong sa iyo niyan. And if you have a solid and firm belief that the company is stable and strong, then nobody can put you down. Belief in the product. You have to use the products. That's the easiest way in believing the effectivity of your product. Coach Mix, pwede bang hindi ko gamitin? Well, it's totally up to you. Pero sooner or later, somebody will ask you that you're attempting to market the product. Sabihin mo, pre, bumili ka. And then he's going to ask you, are you using it? Sabihin mo, actually hindi. Pero sabi ng iba, maganda daw. Then nobody will believe you. And actually, your foundation, your personal belief in the products will not grow unless you use it. So, mag-separate ka ng products na gusto mong gamitin. And the more you use those products and the more it is evident that your health is benefiting from the products you're taking, you're losing weight, your skin is becoming better, people will start buying from you. And actually, the health benefits that you enjoy and the energy you get will pay off the lost money upon buying these nutritional supplements. Babayaran din ng nyo sana yan eh, because of the health benefits eh. So, wag niyong tipirin. The same time you have to believe your products, use it. As you remember, if this is your belief sa product, your clients will, can only go up to here. They can never surpass your belief. If your belief is way over the top, then your clients will have belief on this level and definitely they would buy. But what if ganito kababa? Then your clients won't buy. It's very important that you believe in your products. Study it. Another way to establish your belief is to attend product trainings. Marami mga product trainings na binibigay ang team natin so that you'll have more mastery and more knowledge on each ingredient and each function of those ingredients. Actually, pag natapos mo yung mga product training natin, you'll have 100% percent solid belief in your products kasi magugulat ka the manufacturing process the ingredients that we use are all excellent and remember these are being used by elite athletes five star gold tayo so what's there to not be proud of what's there not to believe kung ang athlete nga gumagamit nito at ang athletes nga na world champions trust their health with you sana you sana tayo pa kaya belief in yourself. This is the most important belief of all. Sabi ni John Maxwell, great leaders make great references. For you to establish that unshakable confidence and that unshakable belief, I would suggest that you find the person who is most unlikely to succeed in USANA, but he was able to do it anyway. Sa so USANA, meron ditong Pilay. Meron akong kilala ditong bulag. Meron akong kilalang 18 years old but she's earning 200 to 300,000 pesos per month. One would say that this person is too young. She doesn't have the right connections. Ang mga kilala niya ay puro bata. She won't be able to make it. She proved them wrong. She's now a Ruby director earning half a million a month. Okay. So, meron akong kilala dito na no read and no write. But she's a gold director. Make them your reference. If these people are able to do it, ano ang chance na hindi mo kaya? It's very unlikely. Lahat ng profession nakita ko na dito. Lahat ng klase ng tao nakita ko na dito. Mahiyain, madaldal, lalaki, babae. Lahat ng sex. Lahat ng uri ng tao nakita ko na dito, mahirap, mayaman, and they were able to do it. What is the common denominator? What is the secret? Belief sa sarili. Remember na bago maniwala ang tao sa binibenta mo, kailangan ikaw mismo paniwalaan nila. How will they believe you if you yourself do not believe in yourself? So, number one yan, belief sa sarili. Alam nyo, some people are not confident kasi wala pa raw silang experience. But take note, successful people are confident first. 
then because of that confidence and that certainty na kung kaya ng iba, kaya din nila, they gain proficiency, they gain competence. Because they started confident first. So sabihin mo sa sarili mo, kaya mo. Because I'm sure kung sino ka man, kung ano man ang background mo, if you have that burning desire and that burning belief that nobody can stop you, I'm sure, kayang-kayang-kaya mo din ito. Assessment time. It's time for me to know if you understood yung mga sinasabi ko dito. This is going to be a seven-item test. I want you to answer it. If you're together with your coach, I want you to tell the answers to your coach. Importante na malaman natin kung na-absorb mo so that if there are any uh, information that you missed, we can always go back to the video and try to master each item. Good luck! Teamwork makes the dream work. Remember, ang team natin, which is Extreme 111, is just one unit. Just like the eyes and the teeth and the heart and the fingers that we have, these are all part of your body. It is you. Ganyan din sa Extreme. Victory of one is victory of all. Sa grupo natin, hindi tinitignan ng income. Hindi tinitignan kung anong linya. We function as one unit. We function as one family. All extreme members are here to support you in your business. So don't be shy in knowing the members of extreme. Ngayon, Coach Mix, ano ba ang ibig sabihin ng extreme? Exito, triumphos, recuso, mediocris. This is a Latin term. Basically, it means that to bring forth triumph is to refuse being ordinary. Kung gusto mong maging matagumpay sa buhay, hindi pwedeng ordinaryo ka lang. Ang culture natin sa team ay, we should be one family. Isang pamilya, isang unit. Ang culture natin sa team ay sama-sama, sabay-sabay. We do things together, we win together. Ang sabi sa team, Culture I, walang iwanan. Nobody gets left behind. Ang isa pang principle natin sa team I, sa extreme, ikaw ang sikat. Because if you're able to show the team that you can get past any obstacles and you reach your rank, your dreams, it's the victory of the whole team. Lahat tayo dyan panalo, basta ikaw ay manalo. Remember, Extreme 111 is a business support system. We can help you grow your business. Ang sistema na to ay nagpayaman na ng sobrang daming tao. So for you to be able to benefit from this system, first you have to know your teammates. So ayan ang pangalan ng Extreme. Ayan ang pangalan ng team natin. This is the name of our family, Extreme 111. Extreme Culture. Ano ba yung kakaiba sa team natin? First is the handshake. Of course, if you're together with me right now, you can ask me how to do it. And you can ask your outline actually on how we do our handshake. But basically, ang meaning yan is professional and personal. We're partners in business, but we're also part of one family. Pag sinabing extreme, G-L-L-A yan. This is our culture. We're always excited for new learnings kasi naiintindihan ng extreme that the only way for you to earn your in your business is for you to learn sa extreme we don't settle for less law of abundance hindi tayo law of scarcity whatever it is that you want you deserve remember that he who has can give he who does not have cannot so ang maganda sa extreme ang culture dito is we don't settle for less Kung ano man yung naiisip mo na amount na pwede mong kitain sa sana, if you're part of extreme, you won't actually settle for that. We'll settle for two times, three times, four times, five times more. Sa extreme, close lining din tayo. What does that mean? That means we don't care about lines. We function as one unit, one team. Alright? 
And, syempre, it is very important na mahalin natin ang team natin. For me, my team, Extreme 111, is my family. This team helped me get my rank. Helped me get our rank. Sama ni Coach Fudge. So, this is really amazing. And I always show love through service. The best way to show love is service. And that's why I'm always training other people, even from different lines, sa mga malalayo ng linya. Because ganyan ang kultura na extreme. It's more on service and it's more focused on love for the other person. What is the responsibility of your coach? Ang coach mo, ang trabaho niyan is gabayan ka. Your coach is not responsible to dribble your ball for you. The coach is not responsible to shoot the ball for you. Your coach is not responsible to swim the pool for you. Your coach is responsible for guiding you. Actually, be thankful kung may gumagabay sa'yo. I started you, Sana, where in my upline, the person who invited me here, suddenly went on board. Biglang sumakay. After a couple of weeks, when I started, he was actually not able to help me. Although, don't get me wrong, I'm very happy that he showed me Yusana, and I'm actually very thankful for him because all the blessings that we're receiving now, it's because he introduced me to this amazing company. Pero, remember that your coach's responsibility is not to do the business for you. It's not to sell the products for you. His responsibility is to help you and guide you so that eventually you can do the business the business for yourself. Ang goal dito is independence. Right now, most probably, if you are new to Yusana, you are still dependent on your coach. Our goal is to teach you everything so that kahit nasa Mindanao ka, kahit nasa malayo kang lugar, at hindi available ang coach mo, anytime, anywhere, you can present. Anytime, anywhere, you can close. Be thankful if your coach and upline cares for you. Kasi hindi lahat ganyan. Okay? But take note, if your coach is not helping you, if your coach is not teaching you, it is still your responsibility to teach yourself. Kasi yun yung ginawa namin. That's why we became Ruby Director. It's not because of my upline that's bigla siyang umalis. It still boils down to me. So, ang coach, additional na lang yan if they are caring, if they are committed. Pero, take me as the proof. We didn't have any upline, but still, we were able to do it. Your responsibility to your downlines. Pretty soon, magiging upline ka na din. You will handle your personal team. So, it is very crucial to equip yourself very fast. So that when people start coming in, you can teach them immediately. Your responsibility is to guide them. When I was starting in USANA, kahit wala pa akong downline, when we were watching the training videos and we were uh, attending trainings, lagi kong sinusulat lahat sa notebook yun. And we're always saying, uy, pwede kong ituro to sa downline ko. Alright? Assume now that you have 50 people make that kind of preparation. Kasi mangyayari at mangyayari yun. When the time comes, you should be able to handle it. Okay? You should be able to teach them. That is your responsibility. But take note, sabi ko nga, you will not, dis- you will not sell the products for them. Ito pa. Trust that they are leaders to be. Pag nagkaroon ka ng tao, trust that they can do what you can do. Yung iba kasi ayaw papresentin yung downline, because of the fear that maybe masayang yung guest nila. That's not how it works. Trust them. Trust them that they can do what you can do. And take note, it is very, it's very important to watch your actions. If you are a coach, you will be the role model. Sabi ng isang famous saying, Your actions speak so loudly that I cannot hear a word you say. This is true. The perfect and the best way to teach is through example. 
what is above, so is below. Kung ano ang ginagawa ng coach, ayun din ang ginagawa ng downlines. So you have to be very careful with what you do. Kung hindi ka umatend ng training, there's a good chance that your downlines will not as well. Your responsibility is to become the best example kasi ikaw ang gagayahin yan. I'll leave you with this question. What would my organization be if everyone in it is just like me? This is a good question that you can ask yourself every day. Ano kaya ang itsura ng team ko kung lahat sila katulad ko? There are two ways in making it big with USANA. Massive product sales. Maghanap ka na sobrang daming ospital. Magsupply ka sa mga clinic at mga charities. You will reach diamond. Or, find five people. Hindi mo kailangan ng sobrang daming tao sa iyo sana. You actually only need five. Coach Mix, paano yun? Now, let me discuss to you yung concept ng power of five. Wherein you try to find your first Five people who will do the business seriously. Remember, these are people who will do the business seriously. Hindi customer. Okay? So the power of five states that you get five people and you transfer your knowledge to them. Lima lang. Okay? Ituro mo lahat sa limang ito. Take note that for you to be able to teach, you have to know what you are going to teach. Kaya training pa rin. Pero let me go back to the power of five. Tuturoan mo yung lima. That's the first level. If you're able to get your first five leaders, you have to teach them. Now, what's the next step? The second level is helping these five people get their five people. Yung unang lima mo maghahanap ng limang leaders nila. And you will teach them together with your first five. So if we do this process continuously to level 3 and level 4 and level 5, wherein 5 leaders will get 5 leaders and the 25 leaders will get another 5 and so on and so forth, you can end up with hundreds of distributors within a couple of years. It started with 5. Ayan yung power of 5. And that's precisely the reason why you are urged by your coach to hit the PPS bonus or PPPS bonus. Dahil dyan sa power of five, it actually starts with that bonus. It encourages you to build this small team. So, hindi mo kailangan ng sobrang dami tao sa iyo sana. You only need to look for five. Five people who are dead serious, who are very persistent, that five people who won't quit no matter what happens, and five people who just really want to grow and really want to learn and master all the skills and adopt the right attitude at dadami at dadami at dadami ang team mo and you'll earn a lot of money. Let's talk about the success diagram. Kung makikita nyo yung diagram na ito, the diagram states that it starts with you, which is true. It all starts with you. Ikaw at ikaw ang magiging dahilan kung magiging successful to. I adopted this mindset that nobody is responsible for my success and for my failure, aside from me. This business will earn and this business will fail because of me. It's not because of my upline. It's not because of my downline. It's because of me. If you adopt the same mindset, it's actually very, very liberating. Kasi kahit pala walang downline, kahit pala walang upline, kaya mo pa rin yumaman. The success diagram also states that after fixing yourself, you've got to adopt, adopt the right attitude, which is GLLA. If you have GLLA, you'll be able to learn. If you start learning, then you will be able to teach. If you can teach your downlines, then in the process, you can duplicate yourself mindset and skill wise if you're starting to duplicate yourself you will multiply dadami kayo then you start having big income and big network and multiplied results and therefore you get your dreams but take note it starts with you it starts with you learning kaya nga number one ko dito na priority 
para sa mga new distributors is education. You have to start adopting the GLLA attitude so that you can learn and you can teach fast so we can do this faster. Let's talk about commitment. This success that we are enjoying right now, it is not accidental. It is very, very, very intentional. Lahat ng ginagawa namin ngayon, it started with a very, very firm commitment. I said to myself that I will not renew my papers. Hindi ko i-renew yung mga papeles ko sa mga sa siman. I left myself with no choice. It's either I do this or I starve. I don't teach anymore. Although I will in the future pag mayaman na mayaman na ako because that's my passion. But to give you an idea of how deep our commitment is, Hindi ko na talaga renew ang papeles ko. There is no way, no way, nowhere for me to go back to. That's how deep our level of commitment is. Gagawin ko to, I will not go back. I will climb that mountain, reach the top. It's either you would see me dead on the floor, nahulog na ko, but you will not see me go back will not go back. I'm sorry. This is the road that we're taking now. And I'm very excited about it. That's the level of commitment that we have. And I hope that you can make the same commitments. I'm not saying you quit your job. No, that's not what I'm saying. But having a very deep commitment na kahit mahirapan ka, even if you don't see hope for how many months, even if you don't see results, a deep commitment and a very long and very solid vision and very strong persistence, it is a guarantee that if you have all of these 100%, impossible ka talagang hindi umaman dito. But that level of commitment, if you can give it to yourself, na talagang kahit anong mangyari, kaya mo siya, I'm sure magiging successful ka dito. Kasi ganito yan eh. For you to be able to master everything, for you to reach Ruby Director or Diamond Director, you have to go through the same adversity, the same challenges. And that deep level of commitment is what's going to take for you to be able to beat it and be persistent enough so that you will go forward and just totally destroy all obstacles. Kasi pag mababa ang commitment, konting hirap lang ayon eh. Pag mababa ang commitment, konting ulan lang ayon na lumabas ng bahay. Pag mababa ang commitment, hindi lang kumita ng tatlong buwan ayaw na. On our first few months, halos wala kaming income. Ang sweldo ko sa barko ay 200,000. Malaki na yon. Pero since malalim ang commitment namin, even if you give me four years of no income, we will not quit. That is the level of commitment that a diamond director has. So you have to adopt the same mindset. Kailangan committed kasi ginagawa mo. If you commit 5 hours, then you commit 5 hours. Commit to your long-term vision. Yung sinulat mo sa goals mo, sa goal setting mo, commit to it. Commit to your family that you will do your best in USANA para mabigyan sila ng blessing, mabigay ang mga pangarap nila because of you. And a very deep commitment sets you up for success. I guarantee you. Discouragements. Now let me talk to you about this single word that killed so many dreams. Take note that anything worth achieving takes time and effort. Kung ang hagdan na tinatahak mo ay pataas, malamang mangangawit ka. Kung ang hagdan na dinadaanan mo ay pababa, malamang madali siya. Take note that the road to success is full of obstacles. Puno ng challenge yan. And it's natural. For, because if you want to become a muscular guy, then you have to break those muscles. If you want to be very good in marathon, you have to break all of those tissues in your legs and in your body and push your stamina to the limits for you to be able to become Olympic level.
Ganon din sa iyo sana. Maraming discouragements yan. Maraming obstacles kang dadaanan. But you have to understand and you have to realize that diamond directors face those discouragements and embrace them. They know that starting a business and the road to success is full of discouragements and full of failure. But remember, losers think that failure is a person. Successful people, they think failure is just an event. It will happen again and again. But failure is part of success. Ganun talaga eh. Para ikaw gumaling sa pagtakbo. Nung bata ka, you have to fall down a lot of times. Take note, you will get rejected. You will get discouraged. It's part of the journey. Pero take note, it's all worth it. Lahat yan worth it sa huli. I remember back then, ilang rejections ang tinanggap namin. I was even ridiculed by my classmates. Because I'm earning big in, in the shipping industry. Tasi pagpapalit ko sa gamot, it's a big question mark for them. So it was a form of discouragement, yes, kasi rin ridicule ka. I never got mad at them. But I took it actually as a positive force in my life that it now actually starts to become my job to inspire them that if one chooses to be successful, even if it's really out of their line, wala sa field nila, wala silang knowledge doon, it became my job to inspire them that anything you want is possible. Kaya ganun talaga eh. You will face those rejections. Sa amin ang dami naming direct. But remember, for us to have those, ang dami na hundreds na ang direct namin. But sobrang dami rin namin rejections because of that. Kung meron kang isang daan na direct, you should have been discouraged and rejected 300 times. Remember, it's all part of the process. It's all part of the journey. Successful people know and they anticipate that it is going to happen. And dami ko ng challenge na, na hinarap dito. At one point, I had more than 100,000 worth of products in my house. Tinitignan ko yung mga products at hindi ko alam kung paano ko ibibenta. At one point, meron kaming months na walang direct. Pero I always told myself, this is the same situation Diamond Directors have faced and they were able to solve it. And therefore, they become better. Sabi nga, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Hindi ka gagaling sa'yo sana hanggat hindi ka dumadaan dyan. So embrace it. Because if you want to earn million, two million, three million sa'yo sana, then you have to face these discouragements and take it as a positive force in your life. Always tell yourself, kung ikaw na di-discourage, you have to make it through. You have to make it past those discouragements because that will make you better. Lagi mo lang tatandaan na marami kang coaches at maraming mentors na dumaan din dyan. And that's precisely the reason why they're standing here today, successful and with no problems with money. Always share your excitement and motivation to your people. Coach Mix, how can I inspire and motivate my team? There is only one way to do it. For me, being motivated and being excited of your business, attending trainings, making yourself burn with passion is the best way to motivate your people. Siyempre, kung ikaw yung coach, ikaw yung kausap nila. Now, if you're always excited and you're always motivated, the energy will be passed through them. Now, coach makes paano yun? Minsan nadi-discourage ako at hindi ako na motivate. Let me teach you what I personally do to motivate myself to move forward. I just attend trainings. I go to the office. Kung gusto mong ma-motivate, meet the people who are energized and very motivated to pursue their dreams. Kung nasa bahay ka lang, ang kausap mo dyan is malamang nega. Ang kausap mo dyan malamang hindi nag sana. They are most probably going to pull you down. Remember, you become the average of the first five people you spend the most of your time with. Kung ang kasama mo ay poro yosana at poro ruby at gold director, I'm sure you will become the average of them. Kung ang kasama mo ay poro corporate world, 
kung kasama mo yung puro tambay, you will become the average of them. To become excited, for me, just attend trainings. Stay with the top earners. Stay with your coaches. Because then you become the average of them and you become excited. Never pass negative emotions in the, in the office. Masyado na maraming negative sa labas. It's not the place to show your negativity. Just bask in the positive, in the positivity of all the people there including the other teams. They're very passionate. If you find yourself losing the motivation, what you need to do is just attend trainings. Remember, if you get demotivated, you lose action, you lose energy, you're strayed from the path. Becoming a diamond director is focusing on the road. So if you get diverted, it's actually your fault. Because you're not attending trainings or maybe you're not spending time with the top earners. So it's your job to actually motivate yourself. Fear. This is one of the greatest dream killers. Ang dami ng tao na dapat yayaman na kaso pinangunahan ng takot. The people who saw you sana and didn't take the chance are actually the people who were overcome by fear. Now you're in USANA, you've gone through that initial fear, but there are still plenty more to overcome. Alam nyo ano bang ibig sabihin ng fear for me? False expectation appearing real. Sometimes when you speak on the stage, before you do the speaking engagement, your mind goes goes through so many things. It tells you, oh, hindi mo kaya yan, na ako mapapahiya ka. But then when you talk, you actually are excellent. The mind teaches you so many negative ideas. It gives you so many worst-case scenarios that are not really going to happen. So, ito lang yan. Courage is not the absence of fear. Even up to now, I am a Ruby director, and you would notice that I'm very well-versed in talking. Pero kinakabahan pa din ako. Courage is not the absence of fear. It is your ability to face it. Up to a point that you face it regularly, that it becomes not obvious. Hindi nakita sa'yo na kinakabahan ka kasi master mo na. So what's the lesson behind it? You see the top earners, mukhang hindi sila nervous pero ninenervous yan. What's the secret behind it? It's knowledge. The more knowledge you have, the less fear you have. Say, for example, I give you an assignment to talk at the MOA Arena, and I give you three-hour notice. Three hours before ikaw yung magtotok, will you feel nervous? Most people would say yes. They had no preparation. But what if you've been preparing for it for 10 years? You're reading the same script, practicing the same lines, up to a point that even if you're eyes are closed. Even when you're sleeping, you're sleeping. You can recite it. Sa tingin mo kakabahan ka pa with that level of mastery. So the number one way to combat your fears is to gain more knowledge. And to gain more knowledge is to attend trainings. So simple lang, di ba? Kung aten ka lang ng training, mas matututo ka. Pag mas natuto ka, mas gagaling ka. Pag mas gumaling ka, liliit ang takot mo. Conquering your fears will make you an expert in USANA. Sabi nga nila, the best things in life are on the other side of your maximum fear. Parang yung skydiving lang. Takot na takot kaming tumalon. But when we jump, it was actually a blast. The same with your Yusana business. Pag nagawa mo na, nawawala ang takot. And it's usually the most satisfying feeling. The best things in life are on the other side of your fear. So conquer it. Assessment time. Ask yourself again. I want you to perfect all of these questions. Sagutan nyo yan. Okay, and pag na-perfect mo, I'm sure you're set up for success already. If by some chance you're watching this in YouTube but wala ako sa tabi mo, you can drill yourself. Ask yourself the questions. If you miss an item, you can always rewind the video and watch it again. Alright? So go ahead and take the assessment.
that ends the training video, NDO Attitude. I'm very happy that you took this time with me for training. Sana marami kang natutunan. But remember, to learn but not to do is really not to learn. I really advise you to apply all these knowledges and all these learnings to your USANA business. I'm very excited about the future. I'm sure pag in-apply mo to, magiging diamond director ka talaga. See the next video about the NDO skills where I teach you how to invite and how to make a prospect list. I'm very thankful that you are now here with me doing this training and I hope to see you soon. I will see you at the top.